So welcome back to the shop, friends. I've got a fun project for you today. This in my hand is a carbon fiber expansion chamber guard or exhaust guard for 18 KT or 8 KTM Husqvarna 300 TE that I was going to install. So I thought you might enjoy it. We'll take a close look at it. It's kind of an interesting piece. I haven't dealt a lot with carbon fiber. I've kind of questioned its durability. Uh, and I had a little bit of a surprise here just before I turned the camera on. So let's take a close up look. We'll look at the carbon fiber and then we'll put it on real quick. So this is the carbon fiber pipe guard. And the reason we have a guard like this is on a two-stroke motorcycle, you, you have a, that huge exhaust that sticks out. And uh, as, as soon as you fall on a rock, you, you're going to put a big ding in that and it kind of breaks your heart. So, you know, I guess the guy's got to ask himself a question, you know, do I, do you, do you pay me now or pay me later? Do I spend the money now to buy this to protect that pipe? Um, or do I wait till it's damaged? Unfortunately, that's what I've done in the past. And, and a lot of guys do what they do is like hope for the best. Um, and knowing that hope is not a very good plan, hoping for the best and then going down and dinging the pipe and then going in and back and buying the guard, you know? So uh, if you have the means, you know, it's, it's, you're better off if you, if you have to consider the risk, uh, is it likely that I'm going to damage this pipe? Uh, if your answer is yes, then go ahead and put the guard on. What's a pipe? $225, $250 for a pipe. The guard is $150. You put it on one time and now well, there you go. So this one here is made by P3. I did quite a bit of research on these. There's a lot of them out there and they all kind of look the same. And from what I understand and, and what I found out, this is the gold standard. This one is the best. It's, it's made in America. It's, it's, it's got many layers of carbon. It's definitely rigid. It's got a silver reflective coating on there to deal with the heat. Some of the other ones are made overseas and they're much thinner. So I was, I watched videos on this thing and, you know, and I watched this one dude that had one of these and he took a pair of these giant channel locks to, to it or channel locks to it and just wailed on it, was jumping on it and, you know, and hardly a scratch on it. Well, that was not my experience. So I just took this out of the box and I was, it, it is cold, you know, granted it's 34 degrees right now outside. I uh, just, I tapped it moderately, probably about like this, not super hard uh, with this brass hammer. And you can see that it did indeed fracture into the epoxy. That, that surprised me. I thought that it was going to be a little bit more robust with that. And I wonder if it maybe has to do with the temperature. So, you know, just, just so you know that. So it is, of course, it looks very beautiful and, 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 you know, the carbon fiber and the weaving and all of that, but what it comes down to it, it is a, it is a guard. It is a protective piece and um, it, it, that's what it is. So let's, uh, let's go stick it on and see if it fits, how the fit and finish is. I've never put one of these on before and, um, and, and see how it goes. So let's check out the fit. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Uh, it's gonna have to be, it's gonna be held on with the two clamps there. It's a little springy there, but that's just fine. So let's put the, we'll put the clamps on here. Put the clamps on. And so I guess the obvious question is, why didn't you put one on? I know you've been riding this bike for weeks. Um, I, so I ordered one of these right after I brought the bike home from a, um, I don't know if I'm gonna use the word unscrupulous Amazon seller, uh, but I will, well, we don't need to go into that, but uh, a long story short, and uh, it, it, took, it took weeks for it to get here. Once it got here, um, of course, you know, it was the wrong one. Um, and then there was all these issues with the, you know, so I get into that. So, uh, so I, wanna, I just went ahead and, and uh, I returned that one uh, and I ordered one from, um, uh, where to get this Rocky Mountain ATV. I, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I've not, I, I, I bought all the stuff with my own money. Um, not affiliated with any of them. I just uh, started <laughs> so dumb sometimes. Something poked me in the arm there and I thought I was getting burned. Like, yeah, this bike hasn't ran for three days. I don't think it's gonna be hot. All right, I heard, I heard all you guys shouting at me. Yes, I might, when I start talking on the camera, my brain just switches off. Thread these through here first, obviously. Uh, it's got cutouts in there. Um, and then we can, um, gotta hold those clamps on there, so. Some guys, I watched one video, some guy said, oh, you gotta take this thing off to, to put it on, um, take the pipe off to put it on. I'm like, yeah, I doubt that. I think you, mean you gotta move it a little bit to get the clamps where you want them, but there's no reason, there's plenty of room here. You don't need to 
take the pipe off unless you like to take things off. When you're working with these stainless clamps, you know, you kind of want them to, you want, you want these things to be, you don't want them sticking out, out in the center, you know, or out in the side there. We're going to hang on stuff or, you know, tear your clothes or anything like that because they're pretty sharp. So what, you, and they'll move, you know, as you tighten them. So what I typically do with these is kind of just fold them around, make sure that it's going to end up in the place where you want it. Also figure, you know, that make sure you, you're going to be able to get a screwdriver on there as it moves around because I don't know why they made these clamps so big. They seem to be um, a lot more clamp than... Than we need for this pipe it might maybe they just do a universal style that but what we'll, once we get this all fitted then we'll cut those off we don't want that those big tails sticking out there like that and as you guys all well know you know you don't don't tighten up one side before the other get them get them snugged up everything fit fit on there get the the guard into place make sure you know make sure it's tight against the against the pipe as possible. Very happy to get that guard on there. I feel like I've dodged a bullet. Just writing it as often as I have without that on there. All right, we'll, uh, we'll trim those back there. There's no need to have those on there just to catch on stuff. Should be able to take a pair of side cutters. They've got, you know, they've got the, the slits in there. Just cut. Oh, these things have had it. No, they're gonna do it. Get one more, one more use out of them. I've, you know, they just these are snap-on side cutters that I bought probably 20 years ago, and I've sharpened them many times, and they just are not what they used to be. But the problem is when you live out here, you know, a snap-on truck doesn't come out to my house, so I never have them with me, and I never see a truck, and so I, to get them replaced is not gonna go. Well, I'll get something else to cut those with. How about this for timing? Just what I needed a pair. So I ordered these. Uh, these are the Nipex, the German made side cutters that are, they are the, they're the best. Um, I, I didn't buy myself a pair because I thought, you know what, I've got those snap on ones. I just need to get them replaced. Um, I bought these for my buddy Bob has helped me set up my bike. He, we were cutting some brake cables down at his shop. He was help, helping me with my throttle and he had some cheesy side cutters. And I said, Bob, I'm going to bring you something that's going to change your life. So I, these are for, Bob, if you're watching, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to use them one time and then they're all yours. <laughs> oh, I just, <laughs> you got, I had them on the, had them on the wrong, now I got to make them work, right? I had them on the wrong, uh. A tip there yeah those actually those work really good now that's going to be a sharp edge we're going to want to deal with that you don't want to leave that uh like it is what i might do is take something and fold that back a little bit bend it back and then just clean that with the edge of the file a little bit just take that burr off of there so it doesn't uh doesn't Give you give you trouble. Boy, those are really those are good cutters, man. Okay, that's back in there. It's not gonna hurt anything. All right, let's let's wrap it up here. Then of course no job is finished until you get rid of the stickers. Get rid of the stickers. Well, you're not a racer, man. They're not sponsoring you. If they want the stickers on there, then they can sponsor you, right? I'm not a, I'm not a sticker guy. It is a good sticker. At least it doesn't leave that sticky behind. Not yet anyway. All right, so what's my conclusion on this? Um, I, I think it looks great. Uh, the, uh, the fit is, is excellent. Um, it fit the factory pipe, no problem. The clamps were good quality. Uh, the fit and finish on it is nice. I see no conflicts with anything. I'm running the, uh, these are the uh, bulletproof radiator guards. There's, I was wondering maybe there might be a conflict there because that's pretty, pretty close there. Um, and there's not a lot to it. I mean, apart from it's just going to be, uh, it's going to be protect that pipe. Uh, that's nice. So they, you know, they also make a, I went round and round with the skid plate. There's a factory skid plate on here, but it's pretty, it's pretty minimal. 
Um, and I wanted something, and what I have found is, is I, going over logs, because of this, it's got that linkage sticking down there, going over some logs, I kind of got hung up. I found it to be kind of tough and there was, it got getting beat up on the rocks. So I looked at the, at the P3 skid plate and it is beautiful. It's carbon fiber skid plate, you no problem. Um, but I found one that I think it's, that I like better and it's built by, um, uh, funny thing is, let's take a look at it. I just, it just, as I was installing this, the dog started barking and the, Male guy uh, dropped it off. It just showed up, but uh, no, no, what? We'll do another video on that. Anyway, it's a uh, it's a full full body. It's uh, ABS or some sort of a plastic. It's going to cover that whole thing, and so that's the that's kind of the final straw or the final key to to finishing all the bike up. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you uh, don't like dirt bike videos, why are you still here? Don't comment. Don't tell me about it. You knew it was going to be a dirt bike video. Um, uh, but, but for those of you who do, uh, stay, into, stay tuned and I'll pepper a few more in between uh, into the homesteading stuff. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.